have had an epic week here in Switzerland. Yesterday, we decided to cap it off with a super intense hike over a glacier to the Monte Rosa mountain hut. This morning, we woke up in a thunderstorm, which made safely navigating our way across the glacier without falling into any deadly crevasses much more challenging. But we eventually made it back to Zermatt and celebrated with some well-deserved pizza with new friends. That evening, we headed to the train station for what we thought was going to be a short two-hour train ride to Interlaken. I think I understood there to be a falling rock that has taken out both the train track and the road. We just said sleeping in general, which is where we currently are. Dang it. Now we have to go out in the rain. Uh, the one time I book our accommodations ahead of time. Oh, what a pain. We've already been in the rain all day. I don't want to go uh, back I wish we had our nice lady. <laughs> So Switzerland, we're paying for two rooms and one night. All the train, all the trains that are leaving in the next two hours just say to the next station, and I think that's as far as they can go. So we just talked to a guy who spoke pretty good English and seemed to have a good handle on what was going on. And apparently there has been a rock slide that is covering both the road and the train tracks. So he said for sure no more trains tonight. Maybe tomorrow, but it is a landslide. I would just like to point out that the landslide was caused by the storm that we were hiking in today. <laughs> it's basically ruined our morning and our evening. I'm sorry. <laughs> we had a bunch of stuff for the train. You were no, just carrying it down the road. Uh, what a mess. Thankfully, we had the coolest hotel lady ever. I called the number that was on Google, and it was her cell phone. <laughs> It's she's literally sending somebody to give us a key so we can stay tonight. And we only have one day in Interlaken. Yeah, that's the saddest part is, yeah, Interlaken probably isn't happening unless they clear the landslide out and we can get a train early in the morning. It is currently 10.15. We just got word that there's a train leaving at 10.30 that's going to connect to a bus that should take us around the landslide and maybe we'll get to Interlochen today. This is crazy. There are so many people trying to get on this train right now. Yeah, obviously everybody else was stuck in Vermont last night as well. All right, we made it on the train. We're using our luggage as a seat, and we're going to Tashk, where we connect to a bus that takes us to whatever the next station is. I'm guessing that's our bus. That could be it. That could be our bus. Or this one? I bet that's it. Okay, apparently the road is still closed, but there are a whole bunch of buses here ready to take us as soon as it opens. Hopefully soon. I was wrong, that wasn't our bus. But it is a good thing that we got here when we did because we're in the very front of the line. And look how many people are here. I feel like we're never the people in the front of the line. <laughs> we were early. Thanks to the lady at our hotel, not because of our planning. Yeah. She was like, you need to leave. <laughs> no one's in control. Chaos is breaking loose. Everybody's making a bad dash towards the bus. Alright, back to home, which means we have to get on this bus. We're pretty sure this is the right bus. We just followed the crowd. Okay, we made it to Vish. Everything should be normal from here. Just two more trains. Well, it is noon. The last two days have been hard. So I'm eating chocolate for lunch. 
Oh, I'm very happy. Bad things happen when Nate isn't here to stop me. You went to the bathroom? But I'll try to say it. And it's never a good thing, but I'm very impressed. Well, our train has been delayed by 20 minutes, but there could be worse places to wait. All right, we have arrived in Interlochen, just 17 hours after we planned on getting here. Now we just have to find our Airbnb. Unfortunately, this whole place isn't ours. We're doing something that we haven't done in a long time, which is sharing an Airbnb to save some money. Neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. Barbara. Yay. Actually, pretty spacious. Yeah, it's just for one night. Not too bad. Bummer that we didn't have more time here in Interlochen, but it is time to get back on the train and head to Lichtenstein. For those of you who didn't know, Interlochen is the adventure sports capital of the world, so the fact that we just sat in our Airbnb last night. If we're being honest, I was kind of at my max capacity for adventure for the week anyways, but it's just one more reason that we need to come back to Switzerland one day. So Nate can skydive with a helicopter or jump off the mountain with a Just kidding. <laughs> there actually was only one hotel available in the capital city because tomorrow is national day. So we're staying at pretty much like the last train stop in Switzerland just across the border. We won't actually go into Liechtenstein until tomorrow. But it's just like a short bus ride away. Really close. Maybe hotel. Hello. 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 Hello at the top of the glacier. All we did was travel, like not even all the way across Switzerland. <laughs> and it pretty much so took us three days. Away. That dang <sighs> rock slide. So this is one thing that we haven't told on the video, but we had this discussion about what time we should leave Zermatt. 
there was a 6.30 train and there was a 7.30 train. And Carol was like, let's take our time, get some coffee, and we'll take the later train. And I'm pretty sure that rock slide occurred between the 6.30 and the 7.30 train. And we would be stuck on the train in the middle of nowhere behind the I don't think it hit the train. train. No, but I think I'm not blaming. We were on I'm not train, blaming this on you. I'm just. I think it would have observing. happened right in front of us, and we would have been stuck on the train instead of stuck at the coffee shop, which was lovely. The coffee shop was lovely. Okay, tomorrow we go to Liechtenstein. I'm hungry. For national day. We were planning on mountain biking all day tomorrow after hiking for two days today. So maybe it's not the best. It sounded like a good idea like <laughs> several days ago. Before we hiked the mountain. To uh, St. Nicholas? He doesn't care. Maybe. I am not holding my breath. There might not be any left tomorrow when he gets back. Mm -hmm.